Welcome to Science Lab. The signs are happening because Jesus is coming. Every day we are seeing some of the great signs that are happening around us. Today we're going to see some of the disastrous events that are taking place around the world. Now let's see some of the major forest fires that happened so far in this year, 2019. From January 2019 till August 2019, number of fires occurred in the Amazon rainforest and other parts of the Amazon biome during the 2019 Amazonian tropical dry season. By August 23, 2019, there were 39,194 fires reported in Brazen's portion of the Amazon forest. By the 29th of August, 80,000 fires had broken out in all of Brazil, representing a 77% increase on the same period in 2018. Bolivia, Peru and Paraguay also lost large areas to wildfire including more than 730,000 hectares which equates to about 1.8 million acres in Bolivia alone. In northern Paraguay, near the Bolivian and Brazilian borders, about 140 square miles burned. But the situation had stabilized by August 24. In total, Peru had 128 forest fires in August 2019. After the Brazilian National Institute for Space Research released statistics based on satellite observations documenting at least 75,336 wildfires burning in the country from January to August 23, 2019, With more than 40,000 within the BLA, the highest number since data collection began in 2013. Satellite images from NASA corroborated INPE's findings that the Amazon forest has faced more intense wildfires in 2019 than in previous years. During August 2019, a number of forest fires broke out in the Canary Islands of Gran Canaria, Tenerife and Lanzarote. The fires on the island of Gran Canaria have been the most severe resulting in the loss of large areas of the island's forests and leading to the evacuation of thousands of residents from a number of towns and villages. The intense heat brought by a heat wave and the presence of strong winds combined with the island's mountainous terrain have made extinguishing activities exceptionally difficult. According to the early reports, 84% of the over 10,000 hectares of land affected by the wildfire that is, 21,522 acres was part of protected natural spaces. In February 2019, massive forest fires broke out in numerous places across the Bandipur National Park of the Karnataka State in India. The National Remote Sensing Centre of the Indian Space Research Organisation carried out an assessment of the total area affected by the fire. On February 25, 2019, it estimated the extent of burnt area to be about 10,920 acres the last five days since February 21, 2019. Though the major fire was brought under control by February 24, 2019, some areas continued to burn. The fire also spread to Mudumalai Forest Range in Tamil Nadu, causing damage in around 40 acres. The Tamil Nadu Forest Department took action to ensure that it did not spread further.
The Goseong Fire of 2019 was a fire in Goseong County, South Korea on April 4 to 6, 2019 that spread to the city of Sokche, Ing, Jongae and Gangyeong, leading to two deaths, over 30 injuries and the evacuation of 4,000 residents. The cause of the fire is still under investigation but is believed to be started by an extra high voltage wire owned by Korea Electric Power Corporation that fell due to high winds which lead to an electric arc. The fire damaged over 200 homes and over 2,000 buildings causing an estimated damages of 5.2 billion Korean won. More than 13,000 firefighters were mobilized from other parts of the country to fight the fire. The 2019 Siberian wildfires began in July 2019 in poorly accessible areas of northern Krasnoyarsk Krai, Sakha Republic and Zabakalsky Krai, all in Siberia, Russia. On 31st of July 2019, Russian authorities reported that 3 million hectares were on fire, an area roughly the size of Belgium. According to Greenpeace, 12 million hectares had burned since the beginning of 2019. The smoke from the fires has affected air quality in much of Siberia, including cities as far west as Chelyabinsk and Ekaterinburg. Air travel was also disrupted, according to NASA data. On 31 July, the smoke from burning Siberian forests reached the territory of Alaska and possibly mixed with smoke from local fires, reached the western coast of Canada. As most of the area affected is in uninhabited and poorly accessible areas, most of the fires are not being attended by firefighters. As of 6th August, Russia's Aerial Forest Protection Service was fighting 161 fires on 350,000 acres and only monitoring others. The smoke from the fires is making aerial firefighting unsafe. June 22, 2019, a fire occurred in Nain, a province, Vietnam, destroying 15 hectares of forest. On June 28, 2019, five separate fires happened in Ha Tinh province, destroying hundreds of hectares of forests and threatened nearby residential areas with the first largest fire happened at around 1 p.m. at a protected forest area. in Nizuan district, which quickly spread due to the sunny dry weather and strong winds. Forest fires also struck the Huang Son district. Following days with 20 places in the district have experienced fires. On the 7th of July 2019, another fire occurred at around 1 p.m. atop of Than Wei Mountain in Lian Chu district. The 2019 Southeast Asian haze was an air pollution crisis which affected several countries in Southeast Asia, including Brunei, Indonesia, Malaysia, Singapore and Thailand. In March, around 161 hectares of forest in Barakas, Lambakana, Rimba and Tankul link of Brunei Mohara district was destroyed by fires. Following the previous critical 2015 Southeast Asian haze that traced its origin in Indonesia, forest fires in the country returned in July with 42,740 hectares of land 
burned across the country that causing transboundary haze towards Malaysia and Singapore. Early in February, forest and peat lands in Pahang caught fire. Further in August, several Malaysian states and federal territories such as Kuala Lumpur, Negeri Sembilan, Penang, Putrajaya and Selangor were affected by haze from Sumatra in Indonesia, while the state of Sarawak were affected by fires in the state since July and from neighboring Kalimantan of Indonesia from August. A 2.4 hectares of forest were also burned in Johor in August. In early August, Singapore began to experience haze following the emergence of hot spots detected in neighboring Indonesia of central Sumatra and southern Kalimantan. 555 vegetation fires in Singapore were also reported in the first half of 2019, with one reported in the East Coastal Park. Early in March, the area in northern Thailand have been engulfed by haze from forest fires in Chiang Mai and Chiang Rai, as well from the border with Myanmar. Million hectares of forest lands in Chiang Mai, Lampang, Lamphan, Mae Hong Son, Nan, Phaeo, Frey and Thak provinces were destroyed. Further in July, around 2,318 hectares of forest and farmlands in Pa Fru Kuan Kreng of Nakhonsi Tamarat province and surrounding areas in southern Thailand have been destroyed by fires. disastrous things happening around us but there's more don't go anywhere we'll meet you after a short break welcome back to science lab the signs are happening because jesus is coming the 2019 united kingdom wildfires or a series of wildfires which began on february 26 2019 with the most recent fires occurring on april 23 2019 these series of fires are most remarkable because they are happening at such an early date in the year to add to this these lands were already damaged by wildfires that burnt for months during the summer of 2018. The fires have created many air pollution problems for the UK. The causes of most of the fires have been attributed to much higher than average temperatures and drought conditions that have prevailed since the spring of 2018. As of 23rd April, the number of wildfires in the UK in 2019 is at 96. This beats the previous record of 79 from 2018. The 2019 Alberta wildfires have been described by NASA as a part of an extreme fire season in the province. From the 1st of March to June 24, 2019, there were a total of 803,393.32 hectares burned, which is over 3.5 times more land burned than in the five-year average amount of hectares burned. The five-year average is 747 fires, destroying 146,360.08 hectares. There have been 644 wildfires recorded in Alberta. By the 31st of May 2019, 10,000 people had been evacuated, 16 homes and the Steen River Railway Bridge had also been destroyed. 
the Department of Agriculture and Forestry's Forest Protection Division reported that by May 31, 2019, there were 29 wildfires still burning with 9 out-of-control fires. As of June 20, 2019, there are a total of 27 wildfires burning with 6 being considered out of control. Of these, 5 were caused by humans and 2 by lightning with 20 still under investigation. One fire described as the fast growing monster, unofficially known as the high level fire, had forced the evacuation of 5,000 people in the high level forest area, northern Alberta, and had burned 570,000 acres by May 30 and 237,000 hectares by the evening of May 31. There was smoke from Alberta's wildfires over southern Alberta, southern BC interior and lower mainland, including the city of Vancouver as well as the US Pacific Northwest, reaching as far south as Denver, Colorado. Air quality in cities such as Edmonton and Calgary reached 10 plus out of 10 rating, which is considered to be a severe risk. In 2019, wildfire season is the current running fire season in California, United States. So far, over 4,090 fires have been recorded according to CAL FIRE and the U.S. Forest Service, totaling an estimated of 51,079 acres of burned land as of August 18, 2019. Although the 2019 fire season had been relatively quiet in California through mid-August as compared to past years, October through December is still expected to have the greatest fire potential as the Santa Ana wind pickup. As of mid-August, the Tucker fire is the largest fire of the year, burning 14,419 acres near the town of Tule Lake in Modoc County. The 2019 Washington wildfire season officially began in March 2019. There were 24 Western Washington wildfires reported before the spring equinox, including 18 acres blaze near Mount St. Helens that heavily damaged one structure. Before his death, burial and resurrection, the Lord Jesus Christ was sitting on the Mount of Olives and his disciples came to him privately and asked, Tell us when will these things be and what will be the sign of your coming and of the end of the age. For that, the Lord Jesus Christ list of things that will take place before his coming. And the Lord Jesus answered and said to them, And you will hear of wars and rumors of wars. See that you are not troubled, for all these things must come to pass, but the end is not yet. For nation will rise against nation and kingdom against kingdom, and there will be famines, pestilences, and earthquakes in various places. All these are the beginning of sorrows. What is mentioned in the Bible that are going to take place in the end times or taking place in our lifetime? All these changes in the nature show us that indeed we are living in the last days. Lord Jesus Christ is coming back again very soon. Thank you for watching this episode. Don't forget to tune into Science Lab next time. Continue watching Science Lab in English as well as in Tamil. Send us your photos, videos, news and YouTube links which are worth sharing and also send us your feedbacks to our email address sciencelab at angeltv.org. If you have missed any of the episodes, you can watch it again and again on the Science Lab YouTube channel. But don't forget to like, share and comment on the video as well. Ask your friends and relatives to watch the Science Lab so that they will know that we are living in the last days. Remember, signs are happening because Lord Jesus is coming. Maranada. Maranada.